So I'm talking about uh, UV maps and uh, more specifically I'm talking about how to uh, combine uh, two or more UV maps together into a single UV map uh, without having um, this happen. So uh, what is this? It's, um, it's two UV maps. Okay, two, uh, there's a UV map there. Uh, it's two UV maps combined together into a single UV map. And, um, and suddenly there's this issue where we have a, a um, common edge between the two UV maps uh, showing up like this, connected, okay? So uh, basically the technique is to uh, select the um, part of the object that you want to create a UV map for. In this case, it's that part of the object. And uh, what we have to do is actually go Control X on the keyboard to cut that away, and then Control V to paste it back in there. And by doing this, what we're really doing is um, separating the geometry itself, so that um, the uh, common edge that was here between these two is no longer common. It's no longer shared. It's no longer connected. So we're not going to have a problem with our UV maps being connected. Okay, so that's the reason why we're doing this. I'll just go Control Z to put that back where it was, and um, and now the next step here is to actually make a UV map here. So I'm going to go to Map and um, make a UV map here for this, and I'm going to call it uh, Inner. And go and make UV. Now, um, while I've got it up there, I'm going to just uh, scale it down a little bit to um, <coughs> to make room for the other one that's going to go in there. And um, and then I'll go and go ahead and make the other one as well. So I'll just uh, select a couple of points and go map. And um, using this plugin, going to call it Outer. And, and we have this. Um, so we have uh, two UV maps now, inner and outer. And uh, what I need to do now is combine the two together. So um, I do that by coming up to the Windows tab, opening it up, and uh, in there is, is a vertex maps panel. So I click on that, and um, I'm looking for the UV textures there in here. And what I've got to do is uh, I want to uh, paste or copy and paste this uh, UV map into that one. I do that by right mouse buttoning, right, sorry, right mouse buttoning on it. And I go uh, copy vertex map. And I change the name here to that one. So it's got to be exactly the same spelling. Um, and by doing that, uh, the two maps, well, this has now been put into that one, and the two maps are combined. So, um, so they're now combined into a single uh, UV map, but we're not having that uh, problem of a, uh, of a connected edge. Okay, so it's nice and cleanly uh, separated here. Um, but of course it is because the geometry itself is, you know, separated. So um, we need to put this back to how it was before so we just go up to detail now and um, and we just merge points okay so keep it on automatic and just click OK and in this case uh, 24 points have been eliminated and um, so the object is now like one single uh, piece of geometry again um, and even though it's all one single piece of geometry and there's a common edge we don't we still don't have any um, connection going on here with our UV maps. See, UV maps are still nice and um, separated and independent of each other, so I can uh, modify these in any way I need to. I can edit my maps in any um, in, for any uh, reason, and uh, I can do this with as many UV maps as I need on an object to break it up into its uh, separate parts. Um, it'll work. Uh, as, as long as you follow that uh, procedure of, uh, of um, UV mapping 
sorry, of selecting some geometry, separating it, UV mapping the separate piece, and then uh, combining the UV maps together. And then once you've done that, you can then just merge the points of the object and bring it all back as to be one whole uh, piece again. And if you do it in that order, you're not going to have any problems, and this will work perfectly every time. So uh, that's basically it. That's how it's done. Um, there's probably other ways, but um, this, at least this works, and um, it's a technique that's been around for a while, and I've only just sort of found out about it myself recently, so that's why I wanted to do a tutorial, because I just thought, because I couldn't find one myself, so I just thought I'd um, do one so that you could, um, so that the knowledge is out there.